20-year-old Megan Halivay and her boyfriend Johnny hit the beach at Salmon Creek, near the small fishing village of Bodega Bay. On that day, the weather is calm, the water glassy, and the waves cresting at 10 feet. We just hiked down the beach because we saw three of our friends that were out in the water down there. It looked really good, better than anywhere else. They paddle out 200 yards to join a pack of surfers. But Megan decides to paddle out another 20 feet. I was sitting a little bit north of the pack, just because there was a wave there I liked better than the wave they were surfing. I was alone sitting there, and I started to get just like an eerie feeling. Almost like warm tingles in my spine. Right as I took one stroke in the water, the shark just came out of the water, hit me. A massive great white shark sinks its teeth into Megan's thigh. One wrong move and she'll lose her leg, or worse. I was just pushing myself away from it, almost feeling like I was pushing down on it, but it was only, I couldn't move it, I couldn't do anything. The shark lets go, but Megan's not out of danger. She screams for help, attracting the attention of Britt Horn, a lifeguard surfing on his day off. I turned, saw the shark's fin. I knew it was a really big shark, just from the size of the fin. It looked to be over two foot, maybe three foot tall, huge triangle. The shark had rolled onto its side, and its pe whole pectoral fin came out, looking like elephant ears, huge. Despite their fears, Britt, Megan's boyfriend Johnny, and other nearby surfers thrashed through the waves to rescue Megan. As soon as I saw the shark um, hit Megan and started paddling that direction, I was afraid for myself and the other surfers. I had no idea whether it was gonna hit me or any of the other guys in the water. With the shark submerged, Megan's in shock. Would it attack again? I reached my hand out and the next thing I remember, I was coming up from underneath the water and I just grabbed onto Johnny's back and they made a circle around me and we all paddled in together. My whole thing was trying to keep everybody calm, staying close to Megan. Back on shore, Megan discovers the severity of the injuries to her leg. I tried to put my feet down. And my whole leg just gave out and before I could fall, they just like grabbed me and pulled me up the beach. At that point, my main concern was just keeping Megan's level of consciousness um, up and alert and not letting her start to spin down and go into shock. The Bodega Bay Fire Department paramedics race to the scene. A helicopter transports her to the hospital where doctors treat her injuries. The shark bit deep into her right leg, from her calf to her upper thigh. Based on the bite diameter of 19 inches and the teeth's inner spacing of two and a half inches in Megan's surfboard, experts estimate this great white is between 18 and 19 feet in length and over 4,000 pounds, two tons. And then you can see the whole thing goes from here all the way down all the way down to my calf. And that is the span of actually just the first 12 teeth of the shark's mouth. 